Welcome to Archiversity Online Classes. In this lecture, I am going to show you how to calculate Spearman's rank correlation in IBM SPSS. I will also explain you how, what is the importance of a Spearman's rank correlation, the context in which we use a Spearman's rank correlation, and the procedure to conduct a Spearman's rank correlation, and the result, and how to interpret the result of a Spearman's rank correlation. For this purpose, I chose one example from a real-time scenario and using the data, we will run the Spearman's rank correlation in IBM SPSS. The Spearman rank correlation, uh, which is indicated as a row, is a non-parametric alternative of a Pearson product movement correlation. So if your data is uh, normally distributed, then we use a correlation that is a uh, simple linear correlation whereas if data is not normally distributed then we use uh, Spearman's rank correlation. Like a Pearson's technique the Spearman row shows the relationship of a two variables. So here uh, this rank correlation measures the relationship between a two variables. Next is that the Pearson correlation is used for a continuous or a ratio data and must meet the certain parametric assumptions. Whereas the Spearman's row assumes only that participants were randomly selected, this is one, and scores are independent of one another, this is second, and the relationship of one score with the another is monotonic. So these are the three uh, assumptions of a Spearman's uh, rank correlation. Now the Spearman's row makes no assumption about the shape of the distribution, whether it is a normally distributed or not, whether it is a skewed left skewed or a right skewed, it doesn't matter to run a Spearman's correlation. Now when the data is on an interval or a ratio scale, the procedure runs the measure for each variable that calculates the coefficient of a ranked data. So here, we even if your data is on an interval or a ratio scale also, then also we can use a Spearman's rank correlation. Now the method is that in a Spearman's rank order correlation, the coefficient is calculated on a ranked page of a scores. And next is the data on two different variables or ranked for each subject. And the difference between the ranks is calculated. And each difference is squared. Then the square differences are summed. Then the differences are multiplied by constant 6 and then divided by number of pages minus 1. The result is subtracted from one. You don't need to worry about uh, this method because we are not manually calculating the Spearman's rank correlation. We are, as we are using uh, SPSS to run the uh, Spearman's rank correlation, so SPSS will take care of uh, this procedure. Just uh, for your understanding, I have mentioned here what are the different steps that you need to follow if you are manually calculating the Spearman's uh, rank correlation value. So in a Spearman's rank correlation, the hypothesis that we make is Null hypothesis states that no statistically significant association exists between two variables. So an alternative uh, hypothesis says that a statistically significant association exists between the two variables. Now the result of a Spearman's rank correlation ranges between minus 1 to plus 1. So minus 1 is a negative and plus 1 is a positive. When we say the minus 1, we can say that a negative correlation and plus 1 is a positive correlation. The direction of values of static are interpreted the same as a Pearson correlation coefficient. Now here how is that you are going to interpret is results near uh, plus or uh, minus 1 approach a perfect relationship. Practically a perfect relationship is uh, uh, rarely possible. The next is that if the sign of a coefficient is positive that means if it is a plus or simply a positive value of a 0 0.75, then both variables are increasing at the same time. That means they are moving in a same direction. If A is moving in this direction, B is also moving in the same direction. Next is that if the coefficient is negative, so if you have a negative value of 0 0.60, on one variable increases, the other decreases. That means the relationship is inverse. So one increase means the other will decrease in such scenario, you will get a negative correlation. Now interpretation of the value of the coefficient is somewhat subjective and one should exercise caution in interpreting the size of a coefficient to the mean statistical significance. Then uh, the closer the coefficient is to plus 
or a minus one, the stronger the relationship. Now to a benchmark or approximately what we can say is one rule of interpreting the strength of correlation is that a coefficient greater than or equal to 0.8 on the both sides plus or minus indicate a very strong association. So suppose if you have a plus 0 0.80 then this is a strong positive then if it is minus 0 0.80 strong negative. Then if the coefficient is less than or equal to 0 0.30 then we can say that a weak association between the two variables and any value between the 0.3 and 0.8 we can say that moderate. So this applies to the both positive side as well as a negative side. Now for this uh, to run a coefficient uh, uh, rank correlation we have an example here. So here a management consulting company which recruits many MBS wonders whether the cost of extensive recruiting efforts is worth it. If the firm would, could be confident using 1% uh, significance level that the population rank correlation between applicants resume scored by the personal department and interview scores is positive, it would fully justified in discontinuing interviews and relying on resume scores in hiring. The company has drawn a sample of 35 MBA applicants in the last one year on the basis of the sample shown should the firm discontinue the interviews and use the resume scores. So here. Uh, is the data. Now interview scores are given, resume scores are given. So you need to calculate the rank correlation. To run a uh, rank correlation in SPSS, go to analyze from a menu command and here you have a correlate. So from correlate choose bivariate. Now bivariate select both the variables uh, by holding a shift key or by pressing a control and A, you can select both the variables, send them to a variable list. And here uh, correlation coefficient Pearson is by default. Uncheck this one and uh, choose Spearman correlation. Then options are not uh, very particular. So and here also choose select flag significant correlations. Then click OK. So the result is presented in an output document. Now go there. So here is a non-parametric correlation that is a Spearman's rank correlation. Now uh, what is that we see here is the correlation value is 0.497 and you can find a two stars here which indicates that correlation is significant at 0 0.01 level. We are measuring it at a 0 0.01 level itself. So this is a statistically significant at 0 0.01 level. And uh, this is a positive correlation and uh, with a value of a 0.49 or 0.5, we can say that there is a significant moderate positive correlation between interview scores and resume score uh, given by the personal department. So as there is a significant positive relation between these two scores, the uh, company can drop interview method so that uh, uh, it can uh, uh, rely on uh, uh, resume scores by the personal department in the sense instead of going for a two methods that is the resume score uh, by personal department and interviews by a panel instead of these two as there is a significant positive correlation between these two they can go for one that is the resume score by a personal department. This is how you need to uh, calculate uh, Spearman's rank correlation in SPSS and analyze the result. Thank you. Thank you for watching the lecture.